Well, hello there. I'm Christine and welcome to my channel. Um, I've been reading for many years and if you have a look at my channel, I did some um, YouTubes on how to read playing cards, but I've also been reading tarot cards for a long time. And I have had some emails for people requesting a general reading um, of the tarot. So I, what I thought I'd do would be general readings for Scorpio for the week of the 10th through to the uh, 16th of October. And these are general readings. So as with all general readings, it's take what fits and leave what doesn't fit. And um, also hello to Scorpio's people out there um, with this weekly reading I have for you. Uh, keep in mind that there is a full uh, a new moon in Libra on Friday the 16th and I'm going to put some other content up for that so if you like what you see today hit the subscribe button and that way you'll be notified for the content that is up on Friday the 16th with the new moon so the deck I'm going to be using is a Rider Waite Smith deck it's Pam's vintage tarot and uh, I'm going to switch over to the other cameras so you can sort of see me do the reading and um, anyone who's seen my videos know that's sort of what I do here we go um, between each reading I like to always put the deck back together that's a practice I do so it's it's all in order and now I'm just going to shuffle the deck and put some energy in what is the atmosphere and energy around for the next week for Scorpios lovely Scorpio people I have a sister that's a Scorpio so I'm very well versed in that energy so shuffle think about what we want to know what these cards are going to tell us for the next week There we have it. I like to use an astrology spread. Um, it's a, a quicker version of what I would do if you're having a face-to-face -face reading with me. Uh, because it's just a good spread that sort of covers everything all round. That's all right, we'll move the cards as we go through them. So, here we have it. Interesting week. We start with the um, chariot. Sorry about that. Uh, we're in summer here, so I have to keep the water up. We start with the chariot and we end with the star. So, looking at this Scorpio's. Things are possibly going to get hectic for you into the next week if it hasn't been already. And you're going to be expected to step up and um, do a lot more. And uh, if you've been going through a very intense time, you need to make sure you take time out enough to enjoy life a little bit. And... Um, Maybe you find you're cutting something back to part-time from full-time or you just need to take that time out and get that healing in and a little, little bit of downtime with people that you care about to cope with that. And uh, you can draw strength from um, looking at knowing that, the, that this is just like, it might be just a short-term big demand that's been put on you or draw strength that from what you put in you're going to be getting something out from it with the star there and we'll go into more of that later so your financial situation for the next week is that of decisions to be made and in these decisions will be other people will be um, involved with that decision that needs to be made there's considerations that need to be made with the decision so you're faced with a choice about money maybe you're faced with a choice on how you're going to get some money um, and also financially you could be thinking how do i 
um, get security? What will give me security? Is it people? Is it another person? Or is it um, us pooling our money together, a couple? Or is it just um, once the deci a decision is made about money, there you go. So with the lovers there, the lovers card is a lovers card, of course, but it's also a card of major decisions and being in the second house about money. There's decisions to be made about finances. And as I said, you have to possibly consider others in this decision. It's not that straightforward for yourself. So do can also you might find communicating with another person on your financial decision that you maybe find yourself having to make could help you sort of feel a little bit better about what you're doing to just get that sort of second um, feedback of, an, of another idea. You can expect to hear news from someone in authority and you can expect to hear news of a wedding coming up. Now that sort of, if some people, if you're in lockdown, that sounds highly probable, but even in COVID, people are doing amazing things and getting very creative with weddings. So, um, you may find yourself talking about weddings and also talking about what the right thing is we have to do in these times um, over the next week because things um, there's a lot of turmoil around all of us at the moment and you can find yourself drawing on well, what's my values and trying to find other people of like-minded values is very important to Scorpio this coming week. Considering your home and what you have to do with the home. Perhaps you're thinking of getting in and making a small business in your home. Perhaps you're thinking of putting some extra money into towards paying for your home or putting more aside for your your rent um, to just have that puts that sort of thing. And that will give you a sense of security. You're also, um, there's a woman uh, who is Capricorn Virgo, oh I've got to think what they are, Capricorn, what's the other, sorry, Capricorn Virgo or Taurus, sorry about that, um, who's going to be sort of possibly contacting you or coming into the home um, and this could be a family member or a friend and you'll be sort of once again talking about money, there's a lot of bit of energy around money for Scorpios this year. You have a talent for knocking back what is offered to you <laughs> at different times and many Scorpios are learning the le lesson of you don't have to be proud and not accept a, a handout of help of some sort it's the it's it's time to sort of open up and um, accept because knowing that you have something to give as well and it's about a lot of giving and taking so you if you find yourself on the defensive, um, not wanting to accept a hand of help, um, just remember that um, that's a lesson in life we all have to, and there's no shame in, in accepting help at different times because that allows us to help. It's like that if you let the oxygen mask get put on, well, then you're free to help someone else with that. So maybe perhaps you're learning that lesson of, accepting a bit of help but then in turn you can help others well, as I said with um, this sixth house you uh, could find yourself helping others out you could find yourself spending time with friends at a spa or perhaps if you have been looking for work some part-time work will come your way and connections are very important to network if, you, if you're sort of wanting a little bit of part-time work or a little bit of something extra, you'll get that through connections. Uh, if you are in a relationship, if you're looking for a relationship, now's the time to sort of know that you you can meet new people with, it might not be going out, it might be online, and there's plenty of opportunity to meet people. But possibly you also could find a circle of people coming into your life that are very different to what you've been used to knowing and they're going to be you're going to find them quite intriguing and interesting so stay positive and if you are in a relationship with someone well then your relationship is going to go through this very good experimental time where you're sort of becoming very open and honest with people and saying well this is what I want 
and uh, that freeing sets for you, Scorpio, which is really good because um, Scorpios like to feel free <laughs> in that um, everything can be lightened up. There's a new um, beginning one way or another, a different phase if you're with them in a relationship or perhaps um, you meet someone um, out there that's new. But either way, there's new intriguing people coming into your life with that. Uh, if you've been seeking change, well then the best way to have change is to trust that a time you've been going through is coming to an end and then there's a whole new chapter coming into your life again. And what you can do to that is just have that philosophy of knowing that everything cycles and everything there's a turn, turn, turn. And uh, if, if you've been worried about debt or anything like that, once again, maybe that chapter is open and stay open to having new opportunities to do things, um, to get a new way of um, dealing with your debt in a way that you may not have thought of. Or perhaps you've been able to pay off your debt. But once again, there's this whole chapter of um, change coming and to bring about this change is just to trust that there's this new chapter happening in your life and one door shuts and another one will open. Travel, it can be difficult to travel for many of us at the moment and dear Scorpios, you are getting the calling of wanting to do something and go somewhere and with other people, visit other people that you haven't seen someone and that uh, could see um, be difficult. Some of you will find a chance, time that you will get to travel a short distance and it's like after being in a lockdown, it's now sort of freeing up for you. It's because this is the card of second chances. So uh, the idea also is if you have been going through a difficult time and frustration because you haven't been able to have that freedom to move around as you would like to, then to have the philosophy of knowing that this, that I will get another chance at doing all the things I want to do. Um, it's just a matter of when. Um, that taking on that philosophy for this week will sort of help things open up for you in a better way. And then we have oh, our 10th card and if you are working things are looking good in the area of work in your life and if you have been looking for work expect success because these two can be linked as well and also with that so we can read these three round when it comes to work and um, things are stepping up and going to get fast there'll be more demand any work you'll if you are looking for work then expect it to happen through connections with others. Maybe some a friend's going to tell you there's a job or something, but there's very positive energy in the career work area for you. So, uh, and as I said, if it's been busy, even though that's good, have that time out. So uh, many of you will hope to be able to move through this difficult time of uncertainty. Uh, and if you've been going to going through uncertainty, you are hoping that you can move through and get some sort of clarity to where you're going next and what you've been doing. And you will have experiencing friends going through the same thing. When things, it's just this whole energy of uncertainty around us in what we, that's affecting what we hope to do and our, we find ourselves talking to, to our friends about it and our friends are all in the same boat and we just with the moon there you need to just trust that some clarity will come through this confusing time uh, also with the sun beside the moon these three cards in a row this, the moon is flanked by these two cards so things are going to sort themselves sort some of themselves out for you this week and finally we have in our 12th house what we need to watch out for for the week and just watch out for just giving too much and being too intense with it all yes follow what you like to do but sometimes you can be pouring just too much energy in and not getting enough out and that is also linking in with here, everything's stepping up, going fast and everything. Giving and giving, giving too much, not a bad thing, 
But however, make sure that you give yourself some time to um, unwind and enjoy friends and then um, do some healing sort of work. I don't know, buy a nice candle, have some meditation. And there you are, Scorpio. That is your reading for the week. Thank you for watching it. If you, I look forward to seeing your comments. And if you like it, subscribe. And as I said, I'm putting some other content up for Friday the 16th. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye for now.